Welcome back to my channel Scorpio. I'm just doing your full moon reading for May the 29th, 2018. Now this full moon is in the star sign of Sagittarius and this signifies the blooming of flowers and the variety of flowers that bear their petals in May. So it's also known to the Native American Indians as the corn planting moon and the milk moon. And you can see this um, on May 29th, peak at about 3.19 p.m depending on where you are in the universe. Now I have pull, uh, put a link below if you want to go to that link and click on it. And that'll, if you know your time of birth, um, it'll take you to whether you were born under a full moon or a different type of moon, crescent moon, a waning moon, that kind of thing. And um, it's quite interesting to know your uh, personality and it'll tell you a little bit about yourself. So I found it very interesting. So I wanted to put it up there for you guys. So I hope you find it interesting as well. Now I have picked three cards here from the Lenormand deck and also the Animal Tarot uh, deck. And this is going to be playing out for you on the full moon. Now the underlying issue of the Lenormand cards is the whip. Now this is um, something that's repetitive. It is a physical activity card and it's also about... Um, going back and forth so a repetitive um, conflict of some kind it could be discussions that become heated it could be also cleansing as well um, some of you might be cleansing the home or cleansing within yourself now the focus of the reading is the clover and this is about luck that only lasts a few days um, it is about something that's unexpected now i'm going to your past position and we do have the lilies here. This is about contentment, finding peace. It is a sexual card as well. Um, and it is telling me um, with the whip uh, that maybe um, your physical activity has slowed down a bit. This could be due to exhaustion. Things that have been repetitive. You might have been having heated arguments uh, with somebody. Could be romantic. Could be business. Um or you might have arthritis and it's slowing you down a little bit and you're not able to do what you wanted to do now or do whatever you normally do we have from the animal tarot card it's the six of summer and this is the goose and this is about um loving and caring of children it could be um become an important part of your life and i know i've done um <clears throat> a singles readings um for june and there was a pregnancy for scorpios so um this could be tying in with that uh for a small majority of you but it of course i can tell me that um this is about your childhood and people may be returning from your childhood memories or your old memories need to be healed because the lily is a healing card as well so this could be um you healing from old hurts possibly scorpio um, or something that you've been dreaming of as a child is going to um, be revived. So whether you wanted to be a dancer, yoga teacher, or um, an actress, anything like that, um, you're ready to revive that. So this is in the past position. Now, you, as I said, you've got some unexpected um opportunities coming um this is a bit of luck that you need to jump on and it only lasts two three days and it's also a gambling card here with the clover and we have the prince of spring with the animal tarot deck and this is um telling me that you're feeling a lot more confident charismatic and passionate about where you want to go um it's that means that an opportunity um is arising and it probably needs your attention right away, Scorpio. So you need to move quick here. Um, but you can do it. You've just got to follow your inner guidance with the um, the dolphin here. In your future position, we have the snake. And this represents you, Scorpio. This is, um, this is a Scorpio card. It's also um, telling me that um, there could be um, some danger ahead. It does um, represent a troublemaker of some sort or a breakup for for a woman. Now, this could have been an unexpected um, 
thing that has arisen with the clover before it. Uh, maybe you've had some good times previously uh, with an older lucky man and there was a sexual chemistry, so it's telling me that there was good sex involved. Um, this does represent a man and a woman, um, sexual partners for some, but there could be some meanness coming um, out of this as well in the near future. Now we have got the nine of autumn here and it's the ragdoll cat. So maybe that um, with the snake it was telling you that you have intelligence and that what you have um, embarked on has brought you success and the financial security and the rewards that you deserve. Now um, maybe you've been enjoying your own company of late or you may have uh, suddenly have a brilliant idea for a business or a self-employment opportunity, and it's going to be successful with the uh, the clover. So this is the luck that's coming through. Now, um, with the whip, it's telling me you need to take action. This is an action card. It could be to do with sporting events. It could be um, a gym-based business, um, because this is a physical activity card as well. Now, the outcome um, with the Animal Tarot deck is a seven of spring, and this is the gecko. It's telling you to be assertive. I mean, you just got to believe in yourself. So if it's to do with um, your career, don't let anyone else take away your personal power. You've just got to have that trust that your inner guidance is true and that you follow it completely. So it's just telling you with in the present position that um, there's nothing that you can't handle if you follow your inner guidance. So this is uh, affirming the outcome about um, trusting that inner guidance and following it completely. Now I'm just going to read a little bit more about this card for you, Scorpio, out of the um, the deck, uh, the book, sorry. And it is telling to you to stand up for yourself, to communicate with confidence. And the snake is about having confidence. Um, that's someone that's um, very intelligent and will go after what they want and they'll get it even if they have to manipulate their way through now it's telling you not to quit and claim that personal power that you um, store within you now is the time to be assertive and not let anyone take away that personal power or the control or let them control you don't let them control you Scorpio um, the gecko can also indicate an outward challenge that's making you aware um, of an unresolved inward struggle and that ties in with the whip that's um, in a conflict so you've just got to ask yourself is if the source of discomfort is really within someone um, meant to be from someone else or is it something inside you that needs to be healed and I really feel it is something inside you that needs to be healed because you've got the lily card here and this is about healing it could be um, from emotional hurts and being with an older male um, that didn't work out and there's a lot of conflict there. But um, it's also um, the geckos also considered good luck in many cultures. Um, specialised toe pads allow them to climb vertically so they needn't let anything stand in their way. So if you can't go forward, go sideways. Um, that's going to help you. If that's going to help you um, get away from this negativity. But um, they can speak their truth and they make their voices heard. So the geckos shed their skin and that definitely ties in with the snake. This is about shedding skin. The snake sheds their skin as well. It's definitely talking about you, Scorpio. And, um, and if they need be, they can also lose their tails to evade capture. So an indication that sometimes the battle just isn't worth it. Geckos may be asking you if it's time to shed old issues from your life now so you can move forward. So whatever emotional burdens that you're harbouring, Scorpio, you need to let them be um, because you do have a new life experience awaiting you with uh, Major Arcana card um, number 16. And it is important changes that are coming into your life that will require you to take action. But don't hesitate to move in new directions. You, you knew, um, that you know that are right for you. So if you do um, get, don't let anyone take your personal power, that's what the outcome will be, a new life experience. So just leave everything in the past that no longer serves you. 
So that's a beautiful reading um, for the 29th of May. So I hope this resonates with you. I would be interested in you leaving comments if it resonates with you. Just remember it's not for all the viewers out there. But love and blessings to you all, Scorpio. Take care now. Bye.